Hi guys, Stephen Cox here, and today we're going to talk about the Kala Wanderer U-Bass. So this is the cheapest of the three U-Bases that came out this year and it comes in at about $250. I want to give a shout out to Mike over at Euchre Public. That's where I purchased this bass, so please check them out. So this U-Bass has a mahogany body, a mahogany neck, plastic nut, the UK 500B chromatic tuner and pickup. It has three knobs as opposed to the one on the other U-Basses for tone, and it has a volume switch instead of a volume knob. It comes with Aquila Thundergut strings, which are kind of cool. They're white instead of black, which is a different look for the U-Bass. But overall, the U-Bass is pretty plain. It has a short scale. It's 20.875 inches. That's the scale. And its length is 29.625 inches from headstock down to the end of the body. In addition to getting the U-Bass, you get a padded gig bag. It has a pocket on the front. And the padding is a little bit more solid than the previous bags the U-Bass had. So it provides a little more support. It also comes with an Allen key so that you can adjust the truss rod of the neck. And then that would go right in there. So let's talk about the pros of this U-Bass. This U-Bass sounds a lot like the other U-Basses. So even though it's cheaper, you get a lot of the same tone, a lot of the same sound. So it still sounds pretty loud, even acoustically. It looks nice. This U-Bass has a very plain, simple look, but it's kind of nice in its simplicity. It doesn't have a rosette. It doesn't have any patterns on it. It's very simple. The back still gives you access to go in so that you can fix things on the inside, and there are little tiny screws so you can take off the back, as opposed to the magnetic back cover on the older U-Basses. One pro that I like a lot about this U-Bass is the variety of tones you can get by changing the treble, the middle, and the bass tone knobs, as well as you have a volume slider instead of a knob. So I kind of like this design better. And then of course you also have a tuner. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this. When you play the notes, the screen just looks kind of nice and sleek, and it's pretty easy to tell how to tune the bass. The other pros to this U-Bass, of course, with its short length, it's very portable, so you can take it pretty much anywhere you go, as with all U-Basses. So let's talk about the cons of the U-Bass. Honestly, if you like simplicity, there's not too many cons. The U-Bass looks nice and plain. If you don't like how plain the U-Bass looks, then that might be something that bothers you. To me, the only cons are I miss the magnetic back of the U-Bass, having to use these little screws, it seems like eventually they might uh, wear out, but it's not too bad of a design. I've actually never had to go into the U-Bass to fix anything on either one of my U-Basses, so I'm not really too worried about the magnetic part missing, but that might be a con that it takes a little bit longer to access the inside of the U-Bass. So the only real con that I can think of is that when they send this U-Bass to you, the neck is relatively flat. It's supposed to have a tiny bit of a scoop, and as you can see, if I push down the string here and here, there's not really any room underneath it. So it's touching pretty much every fret. And surprisingly, this doesn't really cause too many issues on almost every fret. But there is one fret on this particular U-Bass, the first fret on the A string, that buzzes. I have a feeling that adjusting the truss rod of the neck will fix this, so I'm going to do that and do a follow-up video for you guys and let you know how that works. So if you're still interested in getting this U-Bass, there's a possible fix for that issue. I tried out one other Wanderer at Euchre Public, which is where I got this bass, and it had the same issue. However, when I tried the Journeyman out, it didn't have the same issue. There weren't any frets that buzzed. So I feel like this may be something specific to the Wanderer, but it may be why they give you the Allen key. And honestly, it's only the first fret on mine. All the other frets play as they should. 
So let's hear what the Wanderer sounds like. Here it is unplugged. Alright, that's it for the Wanderer review. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews and more U-based tutorials and arrangements.